Hi, this is the fourth vid for the second lesson. Hopefully the vids have been quite short. Um, right, let's have a look at this last one. This is the last one before we get some consolidation. So it says car C is moving along a straight road with a constant speed of 17.5. At T is not, it passes a lay by. Then we've got a second car that accelerates from rest up to 20 meters per second in 15 seconds and then maintains the constant speed. And car D passes car C at the road side. So part A is draw a graph. So this is your speed, in meters per second, and this is your time, in seconds. So car A, doing red, has got a constant 17 and a half. So that's car A, that's 17 and a half. Car B accelerates up to 20 in 15 seconds and then stays at 20. Now, if we say that the start bit there is the lay-by, and we'll choose this bit here as the sign, because that's when they're together, then we're saying that their areas, because, it, because the distance is the same, we're going to say that the area is the same. So let's have a look at car A. So car A is easy, uh, except I've got to put some things in here, haven't I? So I need a time. So that's going to be time T. Uh, no, sorry, that's time. God, I'm not right in a cash of this. That's time T. That's time T minus 15. There we go. So they hit each other at the same, same time or pass each other at the same time. So car A is going to be its distance will be 17.5 times T. And then car B, its distance will be, so I've got a trapezium. So it's at the average of T plus T minus 15 times by 20 there, I think. Which is going to be, so the 2 will cancel with the 20 to give it 10. So I've got 210 minus 15 times 10. So I've got 20t minus 150. So the distances are the same because it's when they pass each other. So 17.5t is equal to 20t minus 150. If I take the 150 over and take the 17.5 over, Ooh, so it's not going to give me 60. So T is 60 seconds. There. Now let's just have a double check. So without really reading the question, I've narrowly gone from the distance. Is that what it wants? Um, well, I haven't actually. What I have got is the time it takes. So I know the distance between the long bars. So I found the time. So my distance is just going to be 17.5 times 60 which will be 1,050 metres. There. That's it. That's done. So I hope that's okay. There should be a load of consolidation questions in the next code. Done. Right then.